Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video tutorial today. So this is a part of APS series that I'm going to create. And in this video, I'm going to talk about connected app. How can you authenticate your connected app with any Excel system? In this video, I'm going to use a Postman amazing tool for testing or, you know, hitting all the APIs into your Salesforce org. So earlier in this in earlier video, I've talked about inbound and outbound APIs. So if you haven't watched that video, do check out that video. I have added some link on the top here. Click on the I button or check in the description or comment section. And in this video, we, what we're going to do is we're going to create a connected app. We're going to authenticate it. We are going to get the beer token and then we are going to create some record. For example, this account here that I have created is completely through this postman. So I have passed some parameters here. You can see these parameters are passed and it created this account here. Okay. So let's talk about connected app first before deep diving into the tutorial. So to give you an idea in a very simple word, what is a connected app is let's say you have one Salesforce org and you have some accounts here. Okay. Now you have some external service or some platform or some application. Let's say you have an Android or iOS mobile app. So I have this mobile app here and in this mobile app, I want to, you know, show some data about a customer, which I have stored in my account. Okay. So this mobile app is going to hit an inbound request with the customer ID or your record ID or whatever the name, mobile number, whatever it is, it's going to be an inbound request. Okay. I already talked about what is an inbound API, what is an outbound API. If you have watched the video, it should be in the description or comments or the I button. Okay. Now, once the mobile is going to, once the mobile app or any external system is going to send a request to the Salesforce, during this request, we need to provide authentication or we need to provide a bearer token to Salesforce so that, okay, this mobile app is trusted. You know, uh, we have to trust this mobile app or this external system and we have to, you know, once it is trusted, once it's authenticated, we can give data to this mobile app. So that's how once you get this authentication, you will, uh, the Salesforce is going to send the request, send the response to the mobile app on, and it will basically show what the information it wants to show account number, mobile number, whatever it is. Okay. So this authentication is very, very important. And this is what our connected app is going to basically provide. So connected app is mostly used to provide the authentication okay and with this authentication only you can communicate to salesforce so if you want to hit any inbound epi you need this bearer token and that's what we actually we are going to you know do today so let's deep dive into salesforce first all right so let's create our connected app here to create connected app just go to setting here type apps or you can go into this build create an apps and in this uh, section connected apps you have to create your connected app here. It's very, very simple to create a connected app. And in this uh, connected app, I'm just gonna give name inbound API, okay? Inbound, oh, inbound API, test maybe, okay? Then contact URL you have to give, uh, sorry, contact email you have to give here. Uh, that is guy at the rate gmail.com. And very, very important thing is you have to click on this enable auth settings here. You have to give the callback URL, which will be your uh, salesforce.com and then we have to go here uh, we have to give the all scopes as well we have to provide all scopes so here we are going to click this full access and then we are going to create this manage user data vi api so these two all scopes we are going to provide here and uh, that's it we just click on save button now remember that this connected app which you just created is going to take some time okay to uh, Take the effect of all the settings in this complete org okay now uh, till then what i'm gonna show you guys how can you set up your postman as well so if you don't have postman you can just download postman i'm gonna put the link in the description below and once you do that you have to create some requests in the postman so i already have created one of this request here uh, you have the body you have this uh, login url as well but i'm gonna you know for this video i'm gonna create another uh, collection here so in this postman you can create a collection i'm going to click on the new here you have collection and let's say uh let's rename this as a tutorial okay so in this uh, tutorial uh, collection i'm gonna click on this add request here and in this request i'm gonna click 
uh, I'm gonna select the post request. So I'm gonna make another video about gate, post, push, what exa exactly these requests are. So to give a basic idea, in API, you have to hit some endpoints with some requests. So there's the gate request. So gate basically gives you all the data. Uh, post is for creating resources. Put is basically updating. Put patch is basically same post and uh, put delete is going to basically delete. So these are the uh, widely used uh, requests. So in this uh, video, we are going to use this post. Okay. And we also need this uh, URL. Okay. So this is the authentication URL to get the token. Now, once I do this, uh, I need to provide some body. Okay. In this body, we are going to use this form data. So we have here. So there is going to be a key and value that you have to pass to this uh, endpoint and with this post method. Okay. Now we have username as the parameter, which is basically key. Then we have password. We have grant type, which is going to be the password here. Let me copy this, paste it here. We have client ID, client secret. So I'm going to talk what is client ID and client secret as well. Okay. So now once we do this, I am already going to get my username and password. So this username and password should be of a user who has access to that particular record. Okay. So if you have a system administrator, that will be the best you know, choice. So you can create your own integration user as well, which will basically create all these things. Okay. So we have a uh, my username and password. That's that's what I'm going to get right now username and we have the password i'm gonna get this as well now we have the client id client secret these things you have to uh, get through the connected app so let's navigate to setup then apps here i'm gonna go into my current tab which i just created and once i go here i have something called manage consumer details so once you click on this manage consumer details okay you will have to verify as well so let me just quickly verify here I'm going to go into my gmail copy this paste it and then verify that's it so i have just verified my uh identity basically you have to verify every single time you do this now i have this consumer key and consumer secret so i'm just going to copy here this consumer key and then copy consumer secret and just going to paste it okay so now i have pasted all the values i need to click the send button there should be some response here so you can see now invalid grant uh, authentication failed so usually there are two uh, scenarios which i found uh, in case of uh, this error the very first thing that you should be doing is you should go into this uh, connected app now you type connected app inside this manage connected app you go here you have your uh, connected app here here click on edit policies now, once you click on the city policies you'll find something called ip relaxation so uh, here relax ip restrictions you should be choosing this one and click save now this is one scenario another scenario will be you should go into your uh, profile okay so first of all i'm gonna hit this and i'm gonna see if this is going to work now you can see this is working totally fine because i have got my access token this is very very important now if this also doesn't work for you then you can go into this uh, my settings at the moment inside this my settings you will find something reset my security token so you just need to reset your token here and you basically uh, append this uh, reset token with your password so that's it you just you don't have to do anything else but now we have our uh, access token which is very very important so i'm gonna just copy this access token okay and uh, this is the complete access token i'm going to copy this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to inside my postman collection here there is authorization here authorization tab inside this i'm going to select bearer token and here i'm going to just paste it i'm going to save this as well so you have to save this again now i'm going to create another request okay just to show you guys what exactly we can do here okay uh, i'm going to make sure this is a uh, post and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create some account so to create account here okay what i'm gonna i'm gonna first save this as well inside this tutorial i'm gonna save this with uh create account okay so i have my request here so i can do all the things here now now uh to create account basically what i need to do is i need to pass some parameters so i already have this fields okay uh so basically here i'm going to choose this uh, a raw form and here i'm going to select json so this is json that we are going to pass 
I can beautify this as well. So all these things are nothing but the fields. Okay. So in every single object, you have custom fields, you have standard fields. So let's say I have uh, all these things. So if I go into this view fields, or even if I click this, actually, you know what? I'm gonna create another video with amazing Salesforce extension that you should be using every single day. So this extension basically gives you all the API field names. Okay. So uh, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass all the field required details that I want. And when I create this request, you can see in this authorization, it, it, it says inherit from from the parent. Okay. I can also use my bearer key here and pa pass a token again. Uh, but I'm going to just use this uh, through my collection. So what are the requests that I'm going to create in my Postman collection? They don't have to, you know, I don't have to put all these bearer token manually every single time. So now I have this, uh, let's say, uh, YouTube shoot account. Okay. I'm going to paste this then I'm just going to keep all these things here account number let's just put some random account number employees let's say 100 employees so this is my body uh, I created all these uh, you know body from the fields only so I have all these fields here you can just use this field API and names and you can create your own request here so once I do this I just need to click the send button and if you see after sending button I can see success equals to true and we have the ID of the record as well. So now if I just replace this, so you can see this record right now, we just created using our Postman API. So we only hit this, you know, API endpoint and we pass this request and we got our resource, but basically record created. So that's how guys you can use this Postman or now instead this Postman, you can have any third party external site as well, which is going to basically hit this you know uh, hit this api endpoint with the proper request so uh, to give an example we can even use a online web form and on that web form we can pass all these parameters and this resource or record will be created in our salesforce so even you can work this with custom object here again again uh, you, if you have custom object uh, let's see if we have custom object on this org as well i just want to show you guys real quick Let's go into this object here. You can see I have one object called hospital. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just replace this account with the hospital API name here. Then we have, uh, let's see, we have address here. Let's choose the address. We have uh, hospital ID, which is going to be the auto number. I think the name I should be giving, uh, let's say YouTube hospital test. Okay. Then we don't have the rating, all these fields. I'm just going to delete all this. Okay. Now I am going to choose the address here. Let's say, you know, uh, Pune, India. I'm just going to give this address. Now I have uh, is active. This is basically a checkbox. I have I have need to specify if it, if it is true or false. So one thing that you should be, uh, uh, you should be taking care is, uh, you know, you have to make sure that the correct data type you're passing in your JSON. Very, very important. The number of doctor, this is basically the number. I'm just gonna you know uh, mention some number 25 I'm just gonna beautify this as well so it will look nice so once I do this if I click the send button you can see I have my record basically created so if I go here you can see this hospital record is created we just pass this basically okay so all these details we pass through the API so any external system any mobile app or anything where this endpoint is going to get called, this record will be created once this authorization is successful here. So we are going to uh, use this bearer token through which we are going to hit all this endpoint. So if you go into this console, if you see inside this console, I have all this. So this is the authorization, the bearer token. So we are passing all these parameters here. Then we are also, you know, passing this request body and then we are going to get the response. Okay. So this is going to be the response body that Salesforce is receiving. Salesforce is basically sending. So this is how you can use this amazing connected app feature in Salesforce to authenticate your external services, external applications, or even testing. Uh, so in this video, I just talked about, you know, this basic uh, out of the box Salesforce APIs. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how can you create your own custom APIs. Let's say you want to create multiple records, you want to query some data, you want to fetch some data. So all these things I'm going to, you know, uh, create in the next video. We're going to create some inbound REST API framework that you can use 
to create awesome inbound apis and then we're gonna boot the outbound apis so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video definitely share with your teammates uh, if there are phrases you can share this video as well so whole api playlist i'm gonna put into the you know uh, comment or description you can check it out and i'll see you in the next video